Namilana Sobanale. They still think to fight us, Master. These are but remnants. They will not keep us from the Well of Sorrows. Well of Sorrows? Be honored. Witness death at the hands of a new god. At last, Mathal's sanctum. Let us proceed before Corypheus interferes. You said Corypheus wanted an Illuvian, but he mentioned a Well of Sorrows, which is right. I am uncertain of what he referred to. You're not certain? You said you knew what he was looking for. Confidence can carry one only so far, it seems. I suspected. I did not know. Yes, I was wrong. Does that please you? Whatever the Well of Sorrows might be, Corypheus seeks it, and thus you must keep it from his grasp. Let's find this well before Corypheus' people do. I want to know how Corypheus returned to life. We saw him die. And his life force passes on to any blighted creature, Darkspawn or Grey Warden. Then Corypheus can't really die. We'll find a way to stop him once we're done here. It is strange. Archdemons possess the same ability, and still the Grey Wardens are able to slay them. Yet Corypheus, they locked away. Perhaps they knew he could do this, but not how. I see the Red Templars have already encountered the Temple's Guardians.
Why would this be here? Something wrong. It depicts the dread wolf, Fen Harel. In elven tales, he tricks their gods into sealing themselves away in the beyond for all time. Setting Fen Harel in Mathal's greater sanctum is as blasphemous as painting Andraste naked in the Chantry. My clan set statues of the Dread Wolf outside our camp. They're meant to frighten harmful spirits. Perhaps. I thought the ancient elves above quaint superstitions. For all your knowledge, Lady Morrigan, you cannot resist giving legend the weight of history. The wise do not mistake one for the other. Pray tell, what meaning does our elven expert sense lurking behind this? None we can discern by staring at it. You two look like you're about to kiss when you argue. It's time we pressed forward. Agreed. <laughs> 